Now, beneficiaries of the Samol and Dong development model that is being piloted by inclusive and sustainable new communities have asked development partners to replicate the initiative and extend it to some other parts if Uganda is to realize uh, true development. Now, the project has been piloted in three districts of Maracha, Bunyangabo and Luka, and it has already left increased household incomes and uh, developed infrastructure, among other developments that have been achieved uh, through self-reliance. Our reporter, Banediga, gives us more on that in this exclusive. Uganda is a country gifted by nature with regular rainfall. However, despite the abundant resources, 9 million Ugandans survive on 1 meal a day. Some have no access to quality education, health care facilities, and shelter. The advent of Semau Wundong, a South Korean development model being piloted by inclusive and sustainable new communities, has brought a new lease of hope to many Ugandans. Mr. Mawa Joel, a resident of Aliki village, is among the beneficiaries with poultry, animals like pigs, on top of practicing commercial agriculture. The 61-year-old says out of the 14 birds of chicken received, and pigs. The results are immense. I started with a few animals and uh, this time the animals have increased. It means it has, it, 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 it has given my level of income increase to buy more inputs for, 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 for some of the projects you have seen out around the home state. Mm -hmm. It has also improved nutrition in the home, particularly the eggs. Even the, the chicks are also times once in a month. His wife, Durijaru Felista, aged 50 and a mother of four, speaks highly about the results of inclusive, sustainable new communities. Uh, I have completely nothing, but this project is now helping my children for school fees, food. This single mother of four, also in Olufe sub-county Maracha district, says the spirit of cooperation and self-help has helped touch us hunger for good. Okay. So she said they usually, you know, have uh, those initiatives where they go and dig for their friends and also she has helped dig, you know, to other groups of people, but also she has been helped, like have other people also come and help her to dig. There's a time when they came, they dug for her and she has planted cassava, so that has been very good, that exchange program. The challenge, however, remains taking good care of the animals and birds, especially during scarcity of feeds. At Olufi sub-county, communities have embraced the spirit of cooperation, self-help, diligence and transformation created for community development, construction of a food bank and a three-classroom building for a technical school and a circle office which will also house a community radio, thanks to the inclusive and sustainable new communities project where over 100,000 bricks were laid by the community for these constructions. This is a dream come true according to the sub-county chief Christine Bamali and Arijoli Diana, the community development officer. Why they dreamt of having a community technical school is to cater, the, to cater for the school dropouts, the rampant school dropouts, because of uh, poor parents who will not afford higher education so that they will give skills training to the school dropouts so that they will earn a living. It gives people the chance to own up especially the aspect of community contribution and participation, so they feel it is theirs. You cannot take that away from them. So it is one of the ways it has made us improve and also positivity towards projects. Yes. The project that is in line with Uganda's development agenda of a middle-income country by 2040. The inclusive and sustainable new communities project that has been piloted in three districts in Uganda since 2015 is finally coming to an end with thankful results to which leaders, especially here in Maracha district, are grateful of how their work has been made simple, especially mobilization at grassroots levels to realize development. Very, very simple for me. Mm. Mobilization has become very simple. Before this project, it was very hard to mobilize people to do community work. It was very, very hard. But these days, Mobilization is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Even if you want all the LC ones tomorrow, <laughs> at seven they will be there. <laughs> Why can't we come together and open up the roads? Because of this project, the mindset of the people changed. Just why you get people, they voluntarily come together and say, this is
Ulfi South will come help us. They do it. And this is what is happening in Ulfi South County. People are doing it openly without being forced because of the SENS project. Maracha District Chairman Wilfred Adigia speaks highly about the Inclusive and Sustainable New Committees project, saying Ulufi sub count and the district at large have registered progress. This is a project which has changed the lives of the people in Ulufi sub county. My request to the Minister of Local Government and other stakeholders is that their good practices should be replicated in other sub counties. With partnership from the Republic of Korea and United Nations Development Program to promote the Sama Udong model for rural progress in Uganda, the Minister of Local Government on report success. Communities come together, identify their needs, and agree to work on those issues themselves. Statistics show that in Maracha district, 155 kilometers of community roads have been opened, estimated at over 323 million shillings. 265 kilometers of roads, estimated at 161 million, have been opened in Luka district, and 118 kilometers of community roads in Kabalole, totaling to 488 kilometers of roads, at an estimated 1 billion 677,000 shillings. State Minister for Local Government Jennifer Namiangu says her ministry is now coming up with five policy briefs to promote self-help projects, which also include reinstating parish chiefs countrywide. We have directed all the local governments to ensure that the parish chiefs are recruited. These parish chiefs are going to help us monitor. Because when you talk about the politicians, they first look at their votes. And so if I tell people now to do this, then maybe they will not vote for me. But now, a parish chief is a civil servant. They will definitely help us, not only to monitor, but also mobilize the population. Leaders are now discussing sustainability plans with the prayers that the program be replicated to realize more development. So there is an opportunity to integrate what we have learned from this into, um, into policies, into programs, as we scale this up, and that will be done and has been planned for through the documentation that has been happening. And just... As the project comes to an end, these painted walls with messages that suggest mindset change in Olufe Trading Center and other parts of the district will keep reminding communities the importance of self help, diligence, and cooperation for collective development. Bernard Iga, UBC TV, Maracha District.